welcome to rover youtube channel so today i am going to explain you how to use do cmd dot run sql function in your microsoft access database actually you can use this function to insert update and delete records in a table so i am going to explain you this thing how to do using uh, vba code so I think this is very helpful uh, to you when you create, update or delete uh, records in, a, in an MMS access database. So actually this is very easy so I'll explain you uh, simply then you can understand the theory behind this function. So before go to the video, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Right? Okay, let's go to the video. Then to do this, I have created a sample table. So my table name is table employees. So it contains four columns: employee ID, full name, gender, and country. And I have insert or I updated my uh, table with several records then to write VBA course what I should do is I want to click on the create tab then select visual basic now this is the VBA window to run or to write course I need to add a module to add a module just click on the insert then click on the module so here my first code firstly I'll show you how to insert records how to insert a new record using run slu uh, cmd dot run sq uh, do cmd dot um, run sql command Now this is the way you have to uh, insert new records using this method or using this function. So watch carefully public sub insert new employee. right now we have to dim str sql as string first then you need to write this one str SQL equals insert into now my table name is PBL employee. Then EMP ID full name. So these are the table columns. Full name, gender, then country. Close the bracket then values so what are the values i should enter then uh, employee id is let's say 1200 1020 
So the name is just say this is the uh, new employee name. Then uh, female is the gender and the country is India. So uh, this is the uh, new record. What I want to add via this method, then my function do cmd dot run SQL do cmd dot run SQL samanai sorry equals str SQL. Then I want to add a message box. new employee added successful then we be information then just say success this is the message box title success now save the code and module now i am going to test the code so if my code is error free then what should happen so a new record should update to my table accessing table the employee id for the new record is 1020 so you know you can see it so let's just run click on the run button then select the macro name then run now you can see a message mentioning that you are about to append one row then press yes then again my message box works new employee added successfully now you can go and check the access table here go to home tab and refresh yes you see this is the new the added uh, record uh, by using the do cmd dot run sql command now insert into statement is okay now my second one is let's see how to update the code using this method to update a record so this is the code we have to write public Sub update employee. I public sub update employee. So I had to give several things. Dim EMP IDS integer, then again dim full name as string, right? Then dim strsql as string. Now, so what is the so what is the record I want to update? I want to update the previous level record. So its employee ID is thousand twenty. Then I want to change name. Full name, just say Ma Anderson. Anderson Pereira. So I have to write this one using inverted commas. Right now, this is the statement str sql equals open inverted commas update. 
TBL employee TBL employee set full name full name EMP ID EMP ID so that's all then do CMD dot run SQL STR SQL then again my message box record updated successfully then maybe information then again uh, my message box uh, title is success That's it. I'll just record the uh, call. Now let's run and see what happened. So click on the run button, then select the macro name, decide or the correct macro name, then press run. Then uh, you can see the similar message. Page place, press yes. Yeah, record updated success. You see uh, my previous record updated accordingly. So Previously, I added 1020 records and its name changed to Anderson Ferrer according to the update command. Now, now that is the way you should follow to add uh, update records using this uh, function. So, the last one is how to delete a record using uh, UCMD run SQL method. How to delete a record? So, again, to delete a record. Just say click delete record then again I have dim several values dim emp id as integer integer then the str sql as what string right then the employment id i'm going to delete is equal to thousand two now the command is str sql Open model command, delete, pay from EBL employee where EMP ID equals EMP ID. Now my function do cmd dot run SQL do cmd dot do cmd dot
Then again message box. Yeah. Yeah. Box. Employee report. Leader successful. Maybe. Big sub. Record uh, this video. On this code, yeah, this is my uh, side. On the function, what happens? It deletes the previous records. So now, let's say I won't delete uh, this one, thousand eight record. What should I do? Here, I need to add record number thousand eight. Okay. Then we need to run this one. Then click yes. You see my thousand eight records are also deleted. So that is how you should use. Uh, that's the way you have to use UCMD run SQL statement in Microsoft Access database to insert, update, and delete reports. So I think this is clear to you. So I I explain uh, this very simply so if you need any further clarification please put a comment on the video comment section so i'll answer you as soon as possible okay that is all for today let's meet with an another video then do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this